So that eye drop was fluorescein to help with the, uh, the parents on the Myers so that you can see them when you're doing the pressure check. So the way in which I like to check pressure is with the patient aligned at the slit lamp. Uh, bring the tonometer in, of course, over to our cobalt blue light. Yeah, nice broad illumination. I actually like to look through just one of the oculars, uh, leaving uh, so my right eye through the left ocular and can sight the patient with my left eye. And then as I move in, switch over to looking through my right eye to bring into view the Myers. And then adjusting until I see the proper alignment of the concentric circles or half circles. And the pressure is 14 today. Right. Note that at the time of placement of fluorescein, the eye was also numbed. Um, otherwise, the patient will feel the Myers touch the front of the eye. For the, the Tonopen, on uh, this particular model, uh, there's two dashed lines that you'll see when it's ready. Uh, you can assess that by clicking the button and they should come up. And then standing to the patient's side so you can directly visualize uh, the Tonopen touching the patient's surface, just lightly tapping, gives some auditory feedback, and then we'll give the, the measured output and uh, degree of error. So we measure 13, which corresponds to his Goldman applanation of 14, uh, with the, the error bar in this case is at the 10% level, so I would maybe consider repeating it to get down to a 5%. To repeat, simply push the button again to get back to the two dashed lines. Have the patient again looking straight ahead, lightly tapping at the central cornea. If you do not hear the auditory feedback, I like to check the, to make sure that the tip uh, covering the tonopin is properly seated. I re-push to get back to the double dashed line. After a few taps, we get a pressure measurement of 10 with a 5% error. So the eye care tonometer does not require uh, numbing the patient's eyes, which as a cornea specialist, I find particularly helpful that if my technician checks the eye pressure, I can still subsequently check the corneal sensation, whereas were they to use the Goldman or the uh, Tonopen, I would not be able to check corneal sensation later on in the exam. The eye care tonometer has a upper orientation uh, bar that can be adjusted with this knob uh, that is designed to rest against the patient's forehead. Um, in this case, we've already placed the tip uh, into this lower part uh, for measurement of intraocular pressure, which will uh, essentially bounce off of the patient's cornea. Um, the lower button is pressed uh, to actually extend that and check pressure. Here it's giving us an error because it's not uh, hitting anything when it extends. We can reset um, or just actually in this case proceed by again resting that against the patient's forehead, that upper bar once aligned repeatedly pressing to bounce that off the patient's cornea and we get our output, in this case 12.